What's up everybody? This is MMA Rants. I'm coming to y'all today with another video. But before I get started, I want to say thanks to all the subscribers. Thanks to everybody that's been leaving me comments, good or bad. Thanks to everybody that's been sharing my videos as well, because without y'all sharing them, they wouldn't be being seen by others. And also, everybody that's been leaving me thumbs up. But also, before I get started, I do want to say one thing. These videos that I post are my perspectives on UFC news and topics. Basically, when I hear some news from the UFC or the MMA world, I take that information, I form it into how I see it and how I perceive it to be, and then I come over here and post it. I post the news and information to y'all. Nine times out of ten, I'll post a link of what I looked at, and I'll get on here and fucking rant about it. And guess what? I respect everybody's comments, good or bad, but guess what? I want the same respect back in return. So now on with the video. This video tonight is about Leota Machida getting busted with his hands in his pants in the front, hands in his pants in the back. You know what people do when they got their hands in the back of the pants? Be scratching in their ass, it's nasty shit. He got caught with his dick in his hand. He got caught peeping up somebody's dress. He got caught by surprise, y'all, basically. By USADA for a banned substance that his ass knew he was fucking taking because when they came and drug, drug tested his ass, when they left, guess what Leoto Machida did? He basically hit them up. He hit you side up and let them know, hey guys, I know y'all came and tested me, but I've been taking some shit that I shouldn't have been taking. So he confessed to them about what he was taking. Okay? And guess what? Since he declared that he was taking a controlled banned substance, it's a done rap. The UFC um, made it known. They posted that his fight with Dan Henderson is canceled. I feel very bad for Dan Henderson. I heard he's already in town where the fight's supposed to be at. He's going to lose out on some money. Leona Machida, I really don't give a shit about as far as feeling bad for him. Because guess what? In a way, I can't hate on him. I got mad, mad love, mad respect for Leona Machida because he's been doing some great things. But I'm going to break down his situation to y'all, okay? When you're on top of the mountain for so many years, you are so dominant in the UFC. Your style of fighting was so hard for people to figure out. And you had a lot of great highlight reels in a good way. But guess what? Every old, every new dog, I should say, gets old, and whatever goes up must come down. And with a lot of those good highlight reels, as of lately, you've had a lot of bad highlight reels. And I know when you get a taste of that punani, and I'm just saying this as an example, when you're getting a taste of some some pussy or some punani, excuse my language on here, I hope ain't no kids listening, okay? I'm just being real. Guess what? It's hard to stay away from it, you know? That's, that's success we're talking about, y'all. When you've had success for so long and then you lose it, it's hard to not live, it's hard to live without it. You're gonna, you're gonna try to figure out how to get back to that success. You know what I mean? And Leona Machida was like, hey, I've been getting my ass whipped lately. I've been not looking so good. And now I'm on a Fox prelim card fighting old ass Dan Henderson. And I know that's what the fuck he was thinking. Ain't nobody gonna tell me different. Okay, because if he wasn't thinking that way, to where he had to take a banned substance to beat uh, uh, Dan Henderson, I don't think he was taking it because he felt like he was going to lose to him. I think he was taking this banned substance so he could beat him in spectacular fashion, so he could be talked about again, so he could become very relevant again. That's where I feel like why he was taking this, you know? So to everybody that thinks like, damn, he had to take a controlled substance to beat Dan Henderson? No, I think he was taking it to dominate Dan Henderson. You know what I mean? So, you know, some fighters have been calling Leota Machida out lately. You know, talking about this man is, he's, 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 you know, he's juicing. They've been calling him out. And guess what? You know, when somebody calls somebody out in the MMA world on steroids, you better listen. Because guess what? It's all a fraternity. Everybody knows what everybody's doing. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. You know, but Leona Machida felt like he had to do what he had to do to get back to the top of the mountain, to get back to that success. And you know what? It might have cost him his career because his career was already going on a slope. So now he's in a lot of trouble. 
We're going to find out what his sanction's going to be. And I hope he don't get that one or two year max deal because if he gets that, he's done for. You know, so like I said, I feel bad for um, Dan Henderson. He posted a little um, little Instagram message. I think it was Instagram. And it said SOB something. I can't remember what it said, but we all know what SOB means. And he was talking about Leota Machida, calling him a son of a bitch. You know, so that's that. But like I said, I want to appreciate everybody listening to my rant right now on Leota Machida getting popped by USADA for a banned substance. Leave me a comment. Let me know how long you think he's going to get a sanction for. Let me know if his career is over. Let me know if Dan Henderson should get his money paid to him regardless of what happened. Hit me up in the comments. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're listening right now. Until next time, peace.